The first search algorithm I'll be teaching you about is depth first search. And I'll be doing that with the example of this simple maze in which this is the start point and this is the goal we are trying to reach. Now we will assume that the actions available to the agent in this maze are to move down one step, to move right one step, to move up one step, and to move left one step. Now, not all of these actions will be available in every state. Clearly, from this position, moving up, left, or right is impossible because of the walls, so the only available option is down. Now, for any given state, the agent knows what the available successor states are. And in fact, it is possible for the agent to ask, what are the successor states from this state? Now, the way depth first search works is that it looks at the available successor states, picks one, looks at the successor states from that state, picks one of those, and continues this process until it either finds the goal or hits a dead end. If a dead end is hit, then it backs up to the last point in the search process where it had options that it didn't explore before. Now I'll demonstrate this in this maze, and for this to make sense, we're going to assume that we always check the successor states in the same order. In other words, I'm going to always consider going down first, then right, then up, then left. So from this first state, I'll consider going down, and sure enough, I can go from here to here, and I'll label that as the first node that I searched. And while I'm going through this maze here, I'll also maintain a search tree. So the root node of this tree is S, and the first thing I tried is this branch to node 1. Now from node 1, I'll consider going down again, and sure enough, I can go down. So that will be the second node that I checked in my tree. And this one here, I'll go down, and this will be the third. And at this point, we see how search will sometimes require some failure, because we know as humans from our overhead perspective that we can simply go right to then be on the path to reach this goal. But the computer doesn't know that. It only knows that from its current state it can go down or right and that its current state is not the goal. So it will use this same order it considers going down and so it will actually end up in this dead end. Now from node 4, it will consider going down and realize that that's not possible because there's a wall there. It can't go right. It can't go up because we always assume that we never revisit any node that we visited before. Otherwise, we would get stuck in a loop of just going back and forth over and over again. So even though up is an open space, it's a space we've been to, so we eliminate it from consideration. Then we consider going left, that's also a wall. All of the options fail, so the search process backs up from four to three and then resumes from here. Now we've already considered going down, the next thing we consider is going right. And that does work, that leads us to the fifth node in the search. And then the tree will branch off from here like that. And now, at this point, we'll see another weakness of depth first search. As humans, we know that this route that goes up can quickly reach the goal. In fact, the quickest route to the goal is to take this upward path. But our search order happens to consider going down first. So we're going to do that instead. So from five, we'll go down here and we'll reach node Six. Now 
the next few steps are fairly straightforward. We can't go down. We can go right. So we'll go here, to 7. Same thing will happen at 7. We'll go here to 8. And then we'll go from here to 9. And I'll fill these in. 7, 8, 9. Now from here, we consider going down, we consider going right, and then we consider going up, and that works. So from 9, we go to node 10. So we're taking the long way around this maze. From here, down would take us to a node we've been to before. Right is a wall, but up takes us to a new place. And I'm going to loop this tree back up so that I can fit it in the frame. Then from 11, we consider down. We visited that spot before. We consider going right, that's a wall. And then we consider going up. Once again, we have to consider these dead ends because the computer doesn't know that the better route is to immediately go left. It has to explore all options. That mistake will be repeated here and will end up in a dead end. So from 11, we go to 12, and then to 13. And then from here, none of these options will work. So we'll backtrack to 12. And now from 12, in order to have tried out option 13, we had to have already checked down, right, and up. So from here, it'll now consider going left, but there's a wall, so that fails. It then backs up again. And then from here, it already tried going down, right, up. Now finally, the last of these four options, we will go to the left, and this will be the 14th node that we search. So from 11, let's go to node 14. Now from here, down is a wall, right is already visited, and up takes us here. And now we have another problem. The order here is down, right, up. Well, we're right next to the goal, but the computer doesn't know that. It just knows that its current state is not the goal. Down has been visited, right is a wall, up is available, so it's going to try it. 16, and then we'll go down, right, up, and then left. And so we're actually going to have to visit all of these positions. So 15, 16, 17, 18, and then from 18 to try down, that works. The 19th node we visit, and then the 20th node. So I'll spiral this around. 19, and then 20. And then here, once again, down leads to an open space, but it's an open space that we've already visited. And the search process remembers where it's been before. So at the very least, we know when we need to backtrack. So this is a non-viable option. We backtrack, we backtrack, we backtrack, we backtrack, all the way to node 15 in the tree. And then, having exhausted down, right, and up, we then realize that from 15, we can go to the left and reach the goal from there. So here is where the goal node is. And having done this whole search process, this is all in the planning stages. The agent does this planning in its head. But having done this, it now knows that the path that will reach the goal is to go through this 
sequence. Now this is not the most efficient path in terms of number of steps, but it is a path that works. And so the final result returned by the search algorithm is this sequence that goes from the start to the goal.